Hey everybody, so Scott Schuler here again for the Man Up Project. Um, if you haven't figured out, some of the things that I talk about are things that um, a lot of times I struggle with or things that I see during the day that make me think a little bit, make me go, huh, um, say, hey, this is a talking point or go, hey, this is, this is something that's really cool uh, that I saw somebody do something good. Uh, we don't always want to I don't always want to be, you know, hey, do better, be better than this. I want to, I want to highlight people who are, um, who are doing better, who are doing good things. And I guess that's part of the, uh, part of the thing that's going to happen in, in, in a, I think it's, is it next week or the week after? But anyway, uh, Man Up Week coming up, where, where I get a chance to do that. I get a chance to highlight uh, some of the cool things that, that people are doing. Um, one of the things I, a couple of things I saw today, I saw Matt, Matthew McKenzie. Um, he is a policeman, and he posted how he worked a double yesterday, and he had to be back bright and early before the sun rises this morning. And he was heading out the door, didn't get a chance to see his kids, and looked in his rearview mirror, and there's his kids. They heard the garage door open, and he stopped, put it in park, got out, and the kids gave him a big hug. You know that whole. Uh, I did a post on Hero Dad. You know, never miss a chance to. To be the hero that that your kids are, that they think you are, and man, he's doing that exact thing. I tell you what. Um, oh, hey, Patty, how you doing? Uh, and then uh, Caleb Wilkins, he was, uh, he did, a, he was, he had his uh, boy out today um, with his dad. His dad and Kate, Caleb and his dad both are are uh, handy. One, his dad builds tiny cabins. Caleb is an ex contractor. Um, did some. Uh, had his boy out and had all three, three generations working in the wood shop today. Um, again, taking that time to to speak into, to teach into to the younger generation things that uh, things that are cool, things that are good. Spending that that one on one time. Hey, Trista. Um, so today I'm, I'm really excited because I've got some things in the mail today. So I'm going to show you one of the things we got. Uh, the first thing is. Um, sneak peek at the at the shirt and uh, on this sleeve we've got man up and then on that sleeve of course I got to design the shirt so I got to say what I wanted on the shirt um, but it, the front says meekness isn't weakness and uh, that's something I feel very um, very passionate about where never um, never mistake my meekness for weakness and meekness is really just uh, Truly, it's strength under control. Um, got some buddies who are in the uh, um, uh, special ops arena, and they call that uh, quiet professionalism, and it just it rings so true. Um, that whole piece of of meekness. Uh, I I look up to to men like that who can who can be meek but not weak. So today, I wanted to talk. Um, talk a little bit about good versus bad. I mean, that is the title of this now that I rambled on for a little while, right? And the good versus bad is this. We can be good at what we do, but at the same time, you can be bad at who we are. And again, this is, this is, this is the stuff that, that challenges me every day. This is, I, I don't have it all together in my marriage. I don't have it all together in my, in my, business. I don't have it all together and just in, in who I am. I'm struggling every day just like the rest of them, uh, the rest of us. But this whole thing of you can be good at, so what does it mean that you can be good at what you do but bad at who you are? The problem with it is who you are and if you're bad at who you are, is it's going to influence what you do. So we have to be very conscious, con conscious, conscious of who we are. Are we authentically the person that that we that we want to be? Um, we always hear that, that the term "can you you know, you know fake it till you make it." Well, quite honestly, um, is that the right thing to do? Because at the at that point, I mean, you're, you're um, Patty. Yeah, it is it is the shirt you won for your hubby. <laughs> uh, at that point, if you fake it till you make it, you're telling yourself a lie. We all know that if you tell yourself a lie long enough uh, and strong enough, it becomes a, tr a truth to you. 
and in this day and age of social media, it's become really easy, um, real easy to to not be authentic, to create this. There's that country song, um, something about. Uh, he talks about how he's 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 really in his mom's basement, um, having have, <laughs> having a three way on the on the internet on, on, on over email or something like that. It's, it's hilarious. Anyway, I don't remember what it's about. Imagine that a country song, um, but the the gist of it is it, it, on social media. It's real easy to create this persona of who you want to be, or and, and it, it doesn't have to even be the truth. It can be an absolute outright lie. The problem with that is if you have any kind of close friendships and <laughs> friends, um, hopefully they're going to call you out on it and, and say, whoa, what's going on here? Um, no, that's not, nothing's, nothing to be, is wrong with you figuring out who you really are and getting rid of things in the past that didn't, that weren't you, that didn't suit you, that didn't suit your, um, your goals, your ideals, your value system, your beliefs, those types of things. Nothing wrong with that. But having a, an, an, uh, an uh, yeah, Eric Church online. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. If anybody's going to get that, that'd be you. Um, but th there's there's nothing wrong with having that piece of of that. But when when it comes to the point where we're trying to fake who who we really are, we're not living authentically in that piece. That's where it becomes a problem. And, and I say this because I was there. Um, I think I spoke about this in another video at one point in time, where when I was when I was in chiropractic, um, I thought that I had to dress and act a certain way, and I did. It wasn't me. Uh, I was I was quasi authentic unto who I was a little bit, but I wasn't 100% authentic as to who I was. Um, it went even further when we joined a practice management group and they said I had to wear a tie and a lab coat and um, dress slacks and a white shirt and all this other stuff. And I walked in the first day with that garb on and one of my patients looked at me and said, what happened to you? I said, well, I'm trying to dress a little more professionally and be a little more professional. And my patient, uh, and these are the kind of people we want in our lives in this instance, looked at me and said, I don't come to you for how you dress. I come to you because you're good at what you do. Um, now, that being said, there's a certain level of decorum that, that needs to be done in a professional setting. I get that. I'm not going to go in and pair of cutoffs and um, a wife beater. Uh, but at the same point, there's that piece of being authentic. And when I joined my wife in her business, um, the same thing. I thought, oh boy, okay, here's all these people at higher levels that are dressed a certain way. They look a certain way. They, uh, I better do that too. And I quickly found out that I was miserable. And I was good at what, what I did, but I wasn't being good at who I was. And now that I've been finally come to the realization of it's okay to be who I am, truly who I am, I can be good at what I do, and I can be good at who I am. And it's very freeing. It's, it's actually a wonderful place to be in. Um, and here's the thing, when, when, we, when we're not authentic, when we're not living in that place of being authentic in who we are, it's exhausting. Um, when, you, when you have, when, you, when you've created this persona online, let's say, for example, this, this persona on Facebook of who you think you want to be, um, Great nightly beard scratcher makes you think. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so when you've got this persona that you may have created online, think of the, the amount of lies that you have to keep straight. I say many times, you know, you, uh, I'm pretty sure I say this in the book, um, cheating on your spouse is actually hard work. Because you gotta, it, it, you actually have to come up with lies and, and, and excuses and all these other things of, of it's more okay we're back good it's harder work than just being faithful and it's the same thing here it's harder to be someone you're not than it is to be who you are who you were destined to be who you should be um, you can only fake happiness for so long and at some point people are gonna 
people who really know you and who are around you are going to are going to are going to call you on the BS. Um, Beth Mayhew, focusing on your strengths, not your weaknesses, makes it easier to be authentic. Absolutely, hundred percent true. We all have these strengths that we can draw on that that make us who we are, that make us um, unique. I've got strengths that Brenda doesn't have. Brenda has strengths that I I'll never have. And that's what makes us unique and powerful together. So very, very good, Beth. But I think, just remember that, guys, to, to, to think about that piece of, of being, um, is it worth it to be good at what you do, but to be bad at who you are? At what ex Sometimes you can look at it as at what expense are you being good at what you do? If there's an expense that you're paying or a price that you're paying that causes you to be bad at who you are, then it's not worth it's not worth it to be good at what you do at that point. You really I think I think you just have to you have to always look at cost and benefit ratio on these things and and go okay, what am I trying to get at? What am I trying to do? Um, where am I trying to get? So that that was that was my nightly work for tonight. Not nightly, because I don't do it every night. But that was my a, a rant for me tonight, I guess. Um, I, I know people who are really good at what they do, but they're a self-absorbed prick as far as who they are. That's not something I want to do, and that's not something I want to be. Someone I want to be, and I know for most of you, that's not something you want to be. Um, we want, to, we want to be the best husband, we want to be the best father, we want to be the best friend, um, we want to be the best leader uh, that we can be. And that comes with a little self-reflection, a little self-thought, and a little checking ourselves of where we're going and who we're becoming. So, all right, guys, hope you all have a great rest of the evening. Um, it is Friday night. So, Friday night, what time is it? 8.30 on a Friday night. What in the heck are you all doing watching me on a Friday night? Good grief, you guys should all be out having fun. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, y'all have a great weekend. Take care, guys. See you later.